This is a review on the Success Choice 7 Ring Leather Binder and Planner Pages. I had planned to make my bed. It's not done because Ginger wouldn't move out of her bed. She's kind of like that. So I've got a size comparison for you. Malden underneath A5. It's about the same size, a teeny bit narrower. The rings are one and a half inches and fantastic. Um, these rings close perfectly and they're very tightly hinged. Um, you can't pull them apart by the rings alone. You have to use the these tabs, which is what you're supposed to do anyway, but with a moleskin, with a moleskin, with a um, file effects, you can actually open the rings normally. With this one, you have to use these tabs, which is good for your rings actually. Here's the size compared to a stack of planners. This is a large moleskin. That'll give you some idea. My personal Portland. And this is the Success Choice planner compared to a pocket. So it is a big planner, which is really wonderful. The leather is amazing. It is the softest suede. I can't feel a nap to it like you can with some suede, but but I know that if I do something like this, it'll leave a mark. So I know that it has a nap. Um, the Success Binders have a beautiful logo, and I talked about the meaning of the logo in yesterday's blog post. The um, the post is uh, about the planner and also a uh, giveaway for credit on the Success Planner site, so definitely check that out if you're interested after seeing this. The um, planner has a ribbon uh, page mark, which I like. I put a charm on the end of it, and it closes with elastic. Easy to open, easy to get back on. I love this leather. Here's the website. Success the successchoice.com. This is a uh, feels like unfinished or an oiled finish. Um, it is the softest thing ever. Um, very comforting feeling. Um, it shows the natural imperfections to the leather itself, which I adore. Um, I love when something looks well loved. Um, so I don't mind marks and things like that. I know some people do, but I think there's nothing better than something that shows how much you love it. The insides, the left inside has a credit card slot and kind of a, a slit here that I've just been putting extra pages in. Um, you can see them out the top so if I have a bill uh, that I need to take care of soon I'll put it sticking out here so I know that I have to deal with it very soon. The back has several. This is a credit card slot. This is a, cre a checkbook slot. And what I stuck in it was my little tidbit notes from jet pens. I love these things. They're a million squares and you can cut, you can take them apart in any configuration you want. I just really love these things. They're great for when you need to have a little phone number or something. And they fit really nice in this checkbook slot. 
This top pocket is another credit card slot, and I'm just putting some pens in there for now. And it holds so much. Um, there's a ton of stickers in here, and it has an elastic pen loop. Um, not my favorite feature, but I, I'm not sure how else they would do um, a pen loop on something that's, you know, this kind of leather. Um, it's sort of an unfinished, you know, leather. I'm not sure how they would put a pen loop on there. Um, the rings, like I said, are really nice, round. They close even after use. They're all aligned perfectly, and I adore them. They're also one and a half inches, which is a lot of pages. Um, my Malden, which is a big, is only about an inch. And I think the biggest Filofax in this size is one and a quarter. So these are terrific rings. I mean, just terrific. It is a seven ring, so it's not going to fit Filofax inserts unless you repunch them. There are a lot of inserts that it'll fit, and it you can buy also their own planner pages, which I really like. Um, so I have even more stickers in here. Now this planner lies blissfully flat. I mean, you could see it's just flopping in my arms and I really like that if I had to write on my lap a lot that might be a little difficult so what I did is I took apart a notebook see the spirals I didn't even cut these off I just took apart the front of a notebook and punched it and now I have a sturdy surface. Another option would be to buy one. I believe this came from Franklin Covey. It's very hard. This would be great to write on. And if you need to write on, if you don't have a flat surface to write on all the time, something like this is really um, perfect. And all, all I've needed the few times that I do need to write on my lap. The um, Success Planner is very nice. Uh, the paper is wonderful. I've only gotten a little bit of show through on wet fountain pens and pens that have things like solvent ink. As I flip through the pages, you'll see there's really just no shadowing. Well, yeah, there's probably no shadowing. I'm not sure there are on the pages that I'm going to go through. Um, it takes highlighter well. I've had a highlighter go through a lot of paper and it takes gel pen. Uh, terrific. The first page is sort of like um, well, the year before, the year of, and the year after. There's a lot of suggestions and directions. I, it's such a comprehensive planner system that if you don't at least glance through this, you'll really miss some of the nuances until you've been using it for a while. And that's a shame because there's a lot of good information here, a lot of suggestions, and a lot of things that are valuable. Uh, the next section was a advanced planning for the next year. So we have 2013. And the these are big. These are big spaces. Um, this is bigger than a lot of planners that have you know current year calendars where that's all you have to write things in. This is a really good size. And the, keep in mind, this is for next year. So you know, jotting things down in here is a breeze. And I absolutely love that there are lines in the boxes. So whenever there's a calendar like this or something to fill in, there's lines. I get lost in empty spaces. Um, my writing goes all over the place. But with um, lines in the boxes, it helps so much. Okay. 
there's a note section uh, after each month, um, week, and quarter, I believe. The calendar, the um, planner comes in quarters, so you will have goals for a quarter, goals for the year, goals for the month, goals for the week, and after every section there's a note um, paper. The um, weekly sheets are set up in two ways. One is to um, make a purpose and a lot of suggestions for things you should do every week. Uh, other areas and a place to designate that to if you want to. I tend to use this for my own uh, stuff, but if I want to remember to tell my son something, I will write it here. Meal planning and a grocery list, which I like. Uh, the second weekly sheets are like this. They're very nice, and they have a lot of things you should be doing every week that I don't always, so it's a nice reminder. There's a health tracker, which I'm very into, phone calls, all kinds of things. You can prioritize your tasks, write general appointments, and there's the previous month, this month, and the next month on top of the page. And then you reevaluate how you did. So you write in here, um, you know, anything you could do better, you know, things you want to remember for the next week, anything. It's really space and useful space. Uh, and here's the note section. Here's another week, for example. Now, I like to put to-do sheets um, between my weekly sheets. So I tried the Erodia dot, and this is the size comparison of that. I used moleskin pages, and that's the size compared to that. And this was, I cannot remember which one this was, but I know I got it from Jet Pens. It was really, you could put a highlighter here so you could come back to that page. I like that. This is another week. And I think I want to show you the um, these pages, but uh, in a Malden. I repunched them so you could see how they would work in a file fax. The back has more instructions, more suggestions, things about planning, routines, um, index notes, and that's really good because if there's something you need to remember, you can put what page it's on. Just a couple pages for that at the end of the quarter. This is really a beautiful planner. Um, for people who use an A5 size, I just really like this. Um, it is big, so people who would use primarily a pocket or a personal might find this really big. But for people who use a Malden and just want bigger rings, you know, I could see them being happy with this. And it's very reasonably priced. Um, very. Now, to show you the planning pages that I did, these are at the beginning of each month there's a focus, and this one was Create Mental Energy, and it carries on to this um, page, too. So all of the, your goals are, it's easy to track them, it's easy to follow them, and it's easy to reevaluate them, and it is because the planner keeps bringing you back to your goals. I mean, I can write goals, and then I forget all about them, but the this planner filled out and even not filled out, just on its own, you know, brings you back to what you're doing. Now I repunched this for, for file effects so you could see how it works. Pages are a little bit shorter, and I think just as tall. Um, and it makes a very nice, it's very thick, it's like um, really thick cardstock, and nothing, no ink came through that. 
um, this is the week, the, I'm sorry, the month on two pages view. And it has a tab, but I'm actually going to tab the top because the um, width is a little bit shorter so the tab doesn't really stick out. But I think it really looks nice in a file effects. Um, then there's your monthly planning goals. And all of these things kind of change um, based on what the month is. Um, they're not the same every month, which I really love. Um, one of these things in here was um, enjoy vegetables and herbs from your garden. And I thought, you know what, that's a really good idea. And I went out and I bought a little, um, a bunch of little herbs and I'm growing them and I'm so happy. I wouldn't have that little garden if it wasn't for um, the Success Choice Planner because I never would have thought of it. Um, so this is really nice. If you're interested, definitely check them out and I will put a link uh, down below and you can go there if you're interested. I'm having a giveaway for credit on their site. And let's see, looks like little gender still didn't move. So I guess I can't make my bed now. Oh shoot. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.